Hey, how are you going to the core? How about gr uh, grabbing some drink with me here first? Thanks. Thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey is almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know a feeling, Bucko. Though, maybe something's better of what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So in the century in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. Kind of bored. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's a huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm just knocking it out, like usual. I knock the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, normally, I would respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. And she just howls in laughter. It's the best joke he ever, she ever heard in a hundred years. So I keep coming, she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yell, though. Wow. Needless to say, this woman is extremely good. Keep telling each other dogs. Essentially, I have to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky with Father's bedtime story. But I told you, come on again. And so I did. Then, then I did, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes with doors. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what's up. Then she told me something straight. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please... Please promise me something. Watch over them and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. But this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who says seamlessly likes bad jokes has an eternity to say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? What a promise that I made for her. You know what would happen if she hasn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, listen up, Bucko. I'm just donkey with you. Besides, haven't you done a great job of protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what looks supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's all. I'll take care of yourself, kid. Because I'm Sunday.